You guys, look at that bull. Look at that thing. There's something about these big elk sheds. Yeah. Well, hi guys. I'm running out to Nevada again. It's been nice and cool. The weather's been really, really beautiful. Kind of raining a little bit and uh, cool. Like it's like, I bet it's 60 degrees out here right now, maybe less. So I'm like, well, take advantage of the unseasonably cool weather and get out and put some miles down. So I just got out here about 10 minutes ago and uh, started hiking. So this is a spot that me and Troy found a long time ago. And Troy killed it in here. I picked up a few, and so I think it's my turn to kill it. It better be. Ah, who am I kidding? Didn't have any luck on that hike. Uh, made a big loop, not very much elk sign in here, a ton of horse sign, I actually got chased by some horses. Chased is a bit of an exaggeration. Eh, let's roll with it. I got chased by some horses, um, and I had to um, yell at them, and they went away. And then there's a big storm coming in from the north. I'm gonna try to get camp set up and um, go to bed before it gets here. Oh man, this is, camera's been frustrating me. I just had to reset it to factory settings to even get it to record for this long. All the other recordings would like go for 10 seconds and then shut off. I found a setting, for, oh, whatever, you guys don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go find some sheds. Good morning, everyone. Um, bit of a weather change snow fun okay look out there now look what's in here so so far it's only put down a little bit of snow but it's coming down and it's supposed to storm the whole day so right now I'm really debating I was lucky enough to hurry and cook myself some bacon and eggs before this started so at least I know you guys were worried at least from a hunger standpoint I'm in good shape it's really gonna rain on my parade what should I do you guys tell me it's so dumb to be like, hey, tell me, what should I do? Because obviously, you're not gonna see this video for a while. I'm gonna wait it out for a little bit, see what happens. If it gets lousy, I'll probably just go home. Or maybe go to lower elevation. What a spot. I'm bragging on this one. I was coming up this way right here. Woo -doo 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 -doo, headed up here this way, doo -doo -doo -doo. and I looked back through those trees, right down way through there. Can't hardly see. And uh, got a tine, got a tine. Don't know what it is, looks like an elk shed. Well, I was stinking proud of that spot. Caught it just barely through the trees. I think it's white, can't tell that good though. Sometimes you get lucky and hit that little opening in the trees. It's a set. <laughs> Look at that freaking raghorn set. What the heck is with me and raggy sets this year? <laughs> side by side set of raggers. That's hilarious. That's the second almost identical set to that I picked up this year. I picked up in a completely different area another set like that. And they're hard white, so that's cool. What the heck, I can't believe I made that spot from way crap up there. Sweet, on the board, couple elk sheds. I'd say those are two years old. Still got decent color on the backs. What a dandy, what a considerate bull. Very, very kind individual to drop them both like that. I actually walked like right through there. I'm surprised I missed them there, but Caught them up there, a little sneak peek through the trees. Well, where there's one, two, there should be a couple more. Man, oh man, is that storm getting ugly. Thundering and lightning all around me, but I got the raincoat on today. Um, just gonna keep going. I am not afraid of lightning. Say that 10 times and it'll come true. Still just got this one little set. Just working my way around the edges here and trying to get into some more lots of good signs so I think if I stick it out I'll find something else well I made her back to the truck uh, of course it cleared up it started snowing and getting super ugly so I'm like well I'll just loop and get out of here now it's beautiful so I'm gonna change my boots for sure 
have a snack, think it over. I'll probably go hit it some more. I keep thinking I'm gonna pull out and go home and then it keeps getting nice again. This weather's messing with me, but I wanna show you guys. So this first light rain jacket right here is so money. See I'm wet right here, that's a little bit of sweat where my bino harness was sitting against my chest. But seriously, no water came through this, this rain jacket at all, money. I got rain sleeted on for like two hours. Now, these shoes, these boots on the other hand, well, I'll just, I'll just show you. They look like, well, they look like Napoleon Dynamite's snow boots anyway. But a lot of it, you know, like there's water running down pant legs when you don't wear gaiters. It happens. But, um, yeah, do you think these, wa these socks are wet? Maybe. Tad wet. Good thing I got spares. Made it home last night, late from Nevada. The weather was supposed to be ugly all day today, so I just decided to come home and take care of a few things that have been on the plate for a while. I need to go pick up some arrows. I need to go unload this truck. As you can see, it's full to the brim. Need to get my bow set up. It's already set up. I need to get it dialed in for Total Archer Challenge. I need to hide my camera from this cop. Play it cool. Play it cool. Look at those clouds. Has the weather been crazy where you're at this year? Because, man, it's been crazy. It is cold outside right now in southern Utah, and it is May 20th or something. I don't know. But pretty crazy here. Anyway, I'm going to go pick up some arrows. You guys want to go? Success, got him. Shooting these kinetic chaos, chaoses from gold tips. Um, and Terry fletched them like this staggered. He said they fly really good, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Look at old TNT archery in St. George. It just follows me. Looks like awesome bow shooting weather. Maybe out where I live, it's not as bad. We'll go see. Hi guys! <laughs> just got back home and the sun is shining out here. It's not raining like it was in town, but I also got a big package. That's a weird thing to say. I got a box in the mail, so we're gonna open it up, see what we got. Can I help you open it? Yeah. Looks like it's from First Light. What's in it, you guys? What do you think? I don't know. Um, I think, um, baskets inside. Oh, what is all that stuff? Camping pillows, yep. That is a good load of camouflage, huh? Look at all that neat stuff. Mom! Extra slide! Alright, so first things first. Gotta take the broadheads off of these bad boys. Cause I last thing I did was hunt turkeys. That's how to cut yourself one on one. We got this one going, got the target at 40. Let's let a few fly. Looks like high right, just by about three inches. I got one right, one little bit, teeny right, and one perfectly centered. So, it's probably a little bit to do with the wind, because it's actually blowing pretty good. People walking behind me think that I'm crazy. They don't know that I'm talking to thousands of people. So they think I'm talking to myself. Maybe that's how homeless people feel. I'm not homeless. Crazy people. Everybody thinks they're talking to themselves, they think they're talking to thousands of people. Pretty good. I'm shooting right, then center, then right, then center, then right, then center. 
tell you, let you in a little secret. A lot of times when you can't get like good consistency, when you're kind of going back and forth and back and forth, like, you know, um, it's not the bow, it's the shooter. Close enough. Start green. It's a pretty good feeling actually. Uh oh, I hit my arrow. Not bad, huh? So I'd say I know where I need to be. I'm gonna make some minor adjustments. My camera though is about to die. And so is that camera. So I'll probably call it. This is gonna probably getting boring anyway, but thanks for guys for watching some archery crap. I'm gonna make some tweaking and I'll keep you updated on how this goes. Next week we're headed to Pennsylvania for an archery shoot. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. It should be a good time.